Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to take some footage on your camera roll. So if I click on my camera here and go to my camera roll, you can see I have this little um, little clip on there. It's just some video footage of some of the network equipment. So I'm going to show you how you can take that and put it in iMovie and just pull out the audio from it on your iPad. So you saw I already had my, my video. It's not very exciting, but it's there. I'm going to click on iMovie, and in iMovie, I'm going to click on Create a Project, and I'm going to select a movie project. Now, it will actually show me right here um, under my video or my moments where it has that video, but in this case, I'm going to just click on the bottom where it says Create Movie. It's right in the bottom. So blank project, nothing added. From here, I'm going to click on Video. And I'll click on all. Um, I could click on recent because it's a, a new movie, but if I go to all, it'll show me everything that's in my camera roll. I'm going to click on that clip that wants the audio for it. You see it gives me this other option. So I have the plus where I could add it. I have the, the triangle so I could play it. I'm going to click on the three dots. And one of the options there is you see there's a squiggly line, kind of right in the middle there, um, with a plus on it. So if I click on that squiggly, it's going to add it audio only. So I'll click on done. From here I could name my project if I wanted to by clicking on my name. I could delete that. If I'm going to do more work. In this case I'm going to click on the, um, the, triangle, the uh, square with the up arrow. And once I'm done, I could save this to my files. I could save it to iTunes on my iPad. In this case, I'm going to airdrop it to myself as a video file. Okay. So then I'll accept it. I'm going to save it in downloads. Let me open it up. So it's going to open it up in QuickTime. So now I have it in QuickTime on my computer. I can play it if I want to. But you notice there's all this black background. So once I have it on my computer in QuickTime, if I wanted to, I could make it truly an audio only file by going up to File in QuickTime, Export As, and go to Audio Only. And I'll save it in this case right on my desktop. And then I would have an audio file. So hopefully that shows you how you could pull out the audio from those camera roll files um, in iMovie and uh, work just with the audio. You can also, if you get a full file in QuickTime on the computer, if you like airdrop it from your camera roll, you could also just open it even with the background and just go to um, export as audio. So you don't have to necessarily use I, iMovie if you plan on moving to your computer anyway. So hopefully that helps.